Recently I've been spending a little more time at home Like a lot of people these days, hanging out on my own Filling my time with fun things is really not that tough But finding that one new passion is proving to be rough I've done puzzles, tried juggling, coloring magic too Video chat is fun, especially when it's with you Gaming, binge watching, I even tried croquet But nothing has been quite as fun as my new hobby called crochet Crochet all day And your worries all melt away It's better when you crochet Crochet all day I started with the basics I made a scarf or two Then a hat, a sweater, mittens, a blanket I even made a canoe Then I got creative Now don't you call it weird I covered the walls, made clothes for my dolls Crocheted myself a beard I made pizza, a salad I even made my friends A flamingo, a giraffe And a herd of elephants My bedroom, my bathroom My front door, my toupee Everything inside my house is now made out of crochet Crochet all day And your worries all melt away It's better when you crochet Crochet all day So you want to learn to crochet, huh? It's really fun Okay, here are the steps Step one, clear your day. Step two, learn to crochet. Step three, crochet all day. Step four, uh, well, that, that's all. There's no more steps. Just crochet. Crochet all day. Hi there, your old buddy, Mr. Munch here, and I am having such a great day. I don't know if you remember or not, but I come from the planet Purple. So I am always trying to learn new things about Earth and what you guys do here. Magic is one of those things that I really enjoy learning about. Today, my new friend Jake has some magic he wants to show us. <laughs> Hi, Jake. Hi, Munch. We are so excited to see your magic. Are you ready to show us? Yes. All right. Let's see it. Today, I'm going to be showing you a penny trick. This penny is going to go to this penny. Ready, Munch? See? Yeah, I, I see them. Wow! Wow! I, I cannot believe my eyes. Can you do that again? Yes. Ready? Set? Go. Jake, that is so neato. Can you teach us how you do that? So I'm. I'm, so I'm actually tossing this penny to this hand, and I'm doing it so fast, you can't even see it. Wow, really? Uh, that seems like you would have to practice in order to get it right. I had to have a lot of practice. I bet. 
<laughs> well, you know what they say. Practice makes perfect. <laughs> Thank you so much for sharing that magic with us today, Jake. You're welcome. Bye. Boy, I cannot wait to practice that magic trick myself and show Chucky. <laughs> He's gonna love it. <laughs> I love magic. We'll definitely have to do this again soon. Stay safe, be kind, and thank you very much! Hi everyone, I'm Helen Henny. I wanted to join you today. We are going to watch and learn how to draw Jasper. Draw a simple circle about the size of a tennis ball. Next, let's draw a curve on the side of that tennis ball. Then, draw a curve across the lower half. These lines will help us to know where to place Jasper's eyes. For his eyes, draw in two ovals. These shapes look like tall circles. Jasper is a dog, which starts with the letter D. Let's go ahead and draw in a large D shape just below his eyes. Let's help him smell his favorite pepperoni pizza with a smaller D shape for his nose. Jasper is a pretty laid-back pup. Let's show this by adding two curves for his eyelids. And two curves at the bottom of his eyes. Add two smaller ovals inside his eyes for pupils. This will help him see. Draw two curves at the top of his snout. Now, let's bring a smile to Jasper's face. This will be a curve that starts at the bottom of his nose. Follow that line down to the D shape we created, and from there, darken in the lines until we return to our circle, ending it with a curve line. At the top corner of the D shape, draw another S curve that meets back up with his smile. Add in dots on each side to complete his snout. For his lip, draw a curved line in between the snout lines. Add an S shape for his chin. Now he's ready to sing along with the band. Begin his eyebrows with a curved line at the center of his face. Repeat this step with an S shape on the opposite side. Very lightly, draw in his cheeks by adding two curved lines. Go back and add curved check marks for fur, three on each side. Finish off his eyebrows by closely following the curves we just drew. They curve out slightly at the end. Repeat this step to finish off his cheeks as well. At the top of his head, add six curved check marks for his hair. Lightly draw in curved lines just behind his head to start his ears. Add curved check marks for fur. in areas like his ears, eyes, and nose. Wow, Austin really draws fast. Just kidding, we sped up the footage. <laughs>
be sure to sign and date your drawings. You've now learned how to draw Jasper tea jowls.